Hey guys, it's uh, Mando again, back for the uh, last review of uh, any vintage Nerf gun that I own that I can do a review of. Spent a little time in my closet digging it out, as you can see. Yeah, very devoted. You're going to have a little bit of um, fish tank cam on your uh, to your left, I guess. Um, I don't have much room to uh, put the video camera, or because it's like uh, still light out, so if I don't do it there, then it'll kind of ruin the review. But anyways, uh, today it's going to be on the um, Supermax 350, one of only, how many, yeah, two uh, um, air, no, spring-powered uh, Supermax guns, the rest were air-powered. Um, these are made in, let's see, it says, I'm sorry, uh, 2000 Lar Army Limited. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like a little, no, camera's not picking that up. Uh, oh well. Yeah. It's got a pretty small handle, it's not very comfortable to me. Um, they come in two colors. The, there's this color and the uh, elusive red, gray, and um, the whole body is red. This one is gray. This part is gray, and I think that's the only difference. Um, the mo the only this looks pretty insignificant by itself, but the cool thing about this is it takes both mega darts, small arrows, uh, yeah, streamlines, and. Uh, Micro darts through the air, so it um so if you're on a uh, nerf fight with one of these, you can shoot uh, any ammo uh, out of it. The only problem is um, ranges are a little below average, which I will now demonstrate by firing it. Just to say my new firing angle. First up, the little missile. Just a second. Not very accurate, but whatever. What the? Sick. Don't know what that was about. Yeah. Um. So yeah, with the little missiles, depends whether which way it swerves. It's more for just kind of shocking enemies, or enemies, or whoever you're fighting against. I don't know if that sounds nerdy to you. Um. For streamlines, it's getting about. 10 feet, micro darts, depending on which one, getting about 15 to 20, and with megas, it's getting about 7. So, if you find a mega dart, it's more for just like shooting an enemy at point blank range. So, um, see, the turret is the same of that as the uh, AirTech 1K, and the um, uh, Supermax 250 is actually just a remake of the Supermax 250. It's got a yellow uh, Kenner style Nerf sticker on the side, pretty cool. Um, it's got a green blue paint job, obviously, and um, one thing I do like about this blaster a lot is that it's um, trigger and the barrel are the same color in some Supermax guns, like the uh, um, Supermax uh, 3000, the trigger and the, um, the the barrel are different colors, the orange of the barrel anyways. Um, the reason I'm not going to do a review of that is because I don't own any uh, Larami darts, which um, and it doesn't take Megas unlike some of the other... Um, Make it art shooting guns like um, like the Laser Fang and the uh, Eagle Eye. They could take um, they could take Larami darts because the, it's the same diameters. Make a caliber dart. I'm just gonna give you guys a good look at this in front of the camera. Um, yeah, it's got like a fake stock back here. I guess. I mean, if you were like a really little kid, I guess you could might be able to use it as a stock. But yeah, um, it has condensed the condensed barrel. It's not a true condensed plunger, but uh, it condenses the air and then comes out the top. Uh, kind of like the big blast because it has holes on the side, but not exactly like it, obviously. So there. Yeah, that's pretty much all for now. So oh, this has been a rambly review. So yeah, bye.